Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Winbo. Uh, today I'm going to show you a modeling tutorials regarding this particular perfume bottle and we are going to model this this part. And uh, in the past couple of days I've been having a lot of support from YouTube and the, there are more subscribers uh, subscribe my channel and uh, leaving comments saying they want to see more tutorials, full tutorials. But from my 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 database and when I look at it, the views and also seeing how uh, viewers, uh, subscribers and viewers uh, act, act in the, in the each video, they actually just click through the each individual um, you know, videos to just see the, the challenging part. So for this particular model, if you have a little bit of experience about how to doing a, a basic modeling, you will know how to do these with the cylinders and with a, with a ball or is a UV, uh, if we can do, what's that called? That's it, that is called, yeah, UV sphere. And you can actually do that manipulating that pretty easy to do. But the challenging part is probably for most of uh, 3D artists or uh, the people who are actually into CG is is this part the neck right the neck the curvatures how can we get that to really match that look so that's what we're gonna do and uh, I'm thinking why not just start producing short videos and then to engage more people to watch and also just talking about the most difficult part of the modeling then you can get what you want and uh, yeah then the, you you go put your the rest of your work in your own and then you can get a, the results when you practice without further ado let's get it started let's close down the subject what we can do so this this uh, reference image is pretty easy to put it in just put the shift a and you do empty and uh, you do image and then you are go to uh, the open image and then finding your your actually the reference image with that okay so I, I'm not gonna go to a further details of that and you most of you should be able to know now by just watching my my video uh, I'm going to actually just um, delete that and one more time I need to open up turn on the shortcut key for for the viewers okay let's get started first we are going to actually think about this model first as you can see it has some curvatures and it has some feels like it's a, a tons of rows of circles but one thing notice that the circles is really actually just vertical straight they are not really bending like this it's only on the edge on toward this metal edge they're looking like that and also for me, I don't actually have this product in my hand. I'm just grabbing a photo uh, from internet and uh, I don't really know the physical structure of this accurately, but from the reference picture that I have, I kind of have some ideas on how to do this. And again, uh, the whole purpose of this channel and what I do is photorealistic rendering for image. It's not really for 3D printing or anything else. So for this purpose, uh, we should be okay and also this is just my way to inter um, to think about solving problems when I'm modeling stuff so yeah just kind of like see what I do so what I what I actually thinking about this uh, we are going to, the plan is we are going to model some circle chains rows and put all the way straight up to there and to making sure to fit all these curvatures and then we are going to do another curvatures uh, a range over here and then just kind of kind of cover up the rest of these in this part maybe delete some stuff out to making sure it looks nice so let's let's do like shift a let's get it started with a actually we want to start with a, a mesh we want to do just single circle and by testing I already know we need a lot of vertices so I put a 32 but if you want to put less you can do so I just gonna put that hit S I scale down and I hit G and grab the Z axis to kind of grab on here so when you zoom in so we can see this grab, grab down here a little bit so you can see here um, from here to here is considered one unit uh, because you can see the from highlight dark uh, edge the cavities and then you know the edge is here so it's actually considered one unit so what I'm doing right now I'm just kind of modeling one unit and then kind of getting 
everything curves up. All right. So, okay, let's go hit S, scale down and move up. Put in here and maybe scale up a little bit, tiny bit. Um, and of, of course, you can see that this is not really like centered, this uh, reference image. We can either just follow one side or we can do just just actually move this reference image a little bit. Just and hold shift and then move it. So it should be fine. Uh, it's not gonna be super accurate. And again, I want you to show you how to do this and that you will spend definitely spend more time to kind of do your own. Uh, and then to, in order to get it perfect. So we're going to select all, right? And uh, we are going to extrude up. So hit E and Z come up right here. And we're going to do Alt Z to go to the X-ray mode. So as you see, here is the one single unit already made. But the problem is on the on the actual bottles, I think this definitely have some curve on each unit. It's not really like a straight uh, a cylinder type of look. So what we can do, we can actually adding uh, two loop cut and then hold here and right click. And then let's we go to the top view. And then with that select, we can hit S to kind of scale it up a little bit. Now you can see here is actually with the solid mode views, you can see it's actually have some some curvatures come out when after we we do a uh, subsurface modifier, you will see better. But basically, you can see there's just some curves going on. It's not really like straight line over here. So next thing we will do is pretty straightforward. Is we are not going to complete uh, continue duplicating each unit. Just go all the way up. There's a there's a pretty nice tool as, as a modifiers that we can use in here. So we're gonna tap it out. We go to add modifiers. We're gonna do array. Basically, this one just kind of duplicated the same items and uh, then with a pretty good adjustment. Uh, function. So we we can do here right now because it's duplicating in this way and the X factor factor X. We're not doing that. We are actually want to duplicate it with Z factor. So you can see here we got one more up here. It's pretty nice, right? And then what we need to do here, we are going to kind of see. Yeah, it looks pretty nice actually one by one. So what we can do here, we can just think about how long this thing is going to be. Let's do, I don't know, 50. Yeah, it's not enough. Uh, maybe 60. Yeah, uh, very close, very close. And we can just do one, two, three. Yeah, uh, let's do three, should be fine. Uh, so now in within that, you see, that looks pretty nice. Still looks a little bit, you know, choppy or it's not, have, it's not that smooth rough we can we can do that later but we have having the array modifiers on we are actually solving the problems in the first steps so we get all of these done but of course um, you will know like this is not really looking like that straight is it actually have a pretty strong curvature in, inside so well how can you do that so what do we will do next we are going to um, we can either apply this uh, array modifiers or we can do yeah let's let's do that let's do apply array modifiers and then we are going to adding another uh, modifier is called um, lattice I, I like to pronounce the name lattice uh, it's pretty cool I don't know why uh, and then the la what that basically lattice does is if you adding another lattice right here uh, I think right here down here lattice so it has a kind of a cage right here. It's kind of it's basically it's a cage. So what I what we can do with this cage, we are going to put this cage as close as we can to kind of uh, cover up this entire uh, metal roll of rings. Uh, we're just gonna do that smaller and just trying to find perf perfectly do that and hit s and the shift z to just kind of scale it down here yeah so now we are doing pretty good we basically fit this entire 
object, a mesh, inside this cube, this lattice now. So the next thing we will do, since you see you click that, uh, we added a modifier, but uh, it haven't we put a, a, we haven't using the the object to to really link to the lattice now. So what we're gonna do here, we're using the sample tool, and then put a lattice inside, and then we're actually just kind of link the the lattice within within this mesh. So if I even click the lattice, we create it, and then we hit tap tab. It go into the edit mode, we select the vertice, so hit G and grab it, you see, wow, this whole thing is just gonna get deformed with the this lattice. Uh, the concept is just like this, to, to usually using a simpler geometry shape or cage to, uh, to change the shape and form of complex, complicated subject like this. So what, what we'll do next, we are going to adding some, some resolution that's according to that name so we are going to adding some resolution in order to maintain this good shapes when we are manipulating this object so what we can do here we actually need a pretty dense of resolutions because i have been tested earlier so what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna do 10 of each and let's do 10 and let's see, that's a 10 of each is actually in these two vertices X and Y. So I'm W is more like the Z one. So I'm actually think five should be fine. So as you can see now, uh, we have some certain cut through on each axis and we are building something very complicated <laughs> to see, but this is just trying to maintain the this shape of general circle shape when we're manipulating um, uh, after uh, in the next step. So we are going to do the Alt Z here, and we are going to uh, select the lattice and hit the tab. Go to the edit mode, and we are going to select the top lattice and uh, lattice, and then just kind of scale it down to do that, and then do next one, scale it down. We are trying to to oops, we're trying to getting the shapes coming out. Let me change the so always I'm always forgot to change the input. Okay, cool, right here. So do it again. Circle uh, select the whole face and hit S. Just change that. Yeah, Alt Z. Yeah, within the as you can see here. Yeah, it's it kind of change the shape. Already, it did some magic, but it still, it feels like in the on the z-axis there are not a lot of geometries. So what we can do, we can actually bump it up in that to to ten. Then, so we can do something like that to really helping out. Do s scale it up. Yeah, this part is taking the longest time, and. Um, a lot of time, I think the best way we would do, we can just turn on the proportional editings, or you can hit O key to turn it on. When we do that, you can see it's the entire thing is moving up, but you can see on the up here, up here, right here. So if I do that, it says proportion size of one is too big. So we can scrolling, scrolling uh, this wheels, and then you see there's a circle that's coming in. So we can actually kind of getting. Uh, when we're proportionally adding things, we can actually affecting any everything within the circle. So, so the, anything you do, you can actually getting a little bit much better, smooth result when you when you're doing um, manipulations on on this one. So we can do that. Now, just gonna get into a little bit. That I'm gonna turn it off. Hit O and think it should be fine by now again this is uh, something that I just want to show you how to do it uh, it's more definitely you need to spend some time to perfecting these in order to get the best result uh, on your own uh, but now you know how to do it so it'll be much easier okay so we got the things uh, change the shape of it uh, so next thing what we can do here, we can actually just adding a 
a subservice modifier to kind of get that looks more smoother. Uh, hit shift, uh, hit the control two, I think. Oh, shift two. I've, I forgot how, uh, right now at this moment, I just forgot it was the shortcut key in here, but I think I, I was right. I think it's control two or shift two. Uh, anyway, we have this subservice modifier put it in. Uh, so we can we can see here, let's turn off that lattice. So we can see here, it looks pretty nice and smooth. Now what I can do next, even better, is just right click, shade smooth. And yeah, it just looks like that. Beautiful, don't you think? So we have this thing done. But next the challenge is going to be something like this curve, curvature stuff. How can we get this right, right? So what we can do here, let me that's temporarily hiding this thing. Uh, we are going to adding another, just a, a cylinder. Uh, let's do that. Let's put a cylinder. And within the cylinders, we still can have 32 vertices. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to utilize a cover of things up. So hit, but uh, one thing we can do a lot of times, a lot of times you don't need a cylinder, actually. You don't need a cylinder. You probably just need a, a cylinder out surface. So with, without kind of deleting anything, when you adding a cylinder in, you can just changing the, the, the cap fill type and to get that. So that would be uh, some kind of small tricks that I want to show you for, for you. You can save some time to getting that easy, uh, easy, pretty easy. And then we can scale it down and move up in here and go to the uh, Alt Z um, accelerate and then scale it down on the Z axis. And let's see, scale in. I actually want to hit uh, S and the shift Z and then just kind of get that in. So maintain that. Look, so now you can see here is the, the this is the how thick or how long is the actually this band is, looks like uh, according to the reference. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to get that thinner and uh, let me grab that to see is it too big or not? Let's just keep it continue doing so. Yes. Z. Let's get Z. I think it should be fine. Like this is the width or the height of this ring should be like this. So next thing we are just going to move this thing. Grab and Z to move into center over here. So next thing we will we'll do next, basically go into the edit mode. We are just need to manipulating to changing this up to here to getting the curvature out. So again, we are going to use the uh, proportional editing. We can turn it on, hit that. We can just grab it, Z, kind of get that. Yeah, so a little bit nice and smooth. Grab that. Z, so we can actually control how much it looks. Yeah, it, w it won't. There are another way we can do if you really don't want to uh, affect any other part of it, you can temporarily just select the whole thing, hit H to hide them, and then when you do that again, grab and Z. So on the circle, it won't touch the other side. So that's a little bit easier. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You don't really need to do though, do that. So it just depends on how you want it to work. So, so in this case, we can just kind of manually change some of that. You don't need to, to do it perfect. Uh, as if you really want to make it super precise, you can do so. But it just take longer. Uh, again, I don't want you to stay too long to just watching how I do this. Uh, okay, and hit Alt H. Um, let's hide it and that because all H is actually hiding some everything <laughs> unhide everything else um, let's do the letters let's hide that okay cool the cylinder right here yeah I'm gonna continue to do that uh, hit alt H to do that let's do grab and Z it's kind of come move up grab a Z of course, you are in the X ray, so you can select the other side of the ring. Okay, making sure you do that. GZ. GZ. Yep. 
it's pretty close, pretty close. So when we axe it out, you can see, oh, it's like pretty nice rain. When you look at the top, it's still it's one. It's still a rain. It's just on the vertical side. It's on the, on, when you're looking on the side, it's kind of a, a kind of wave curve. That's it. That's exactly what we want. And what we what we need to do next is is basically we can actually make this uh, razor thin paper rain uh, to be a little bit thicker. Sorry to make you look so nausea. Now let, nausea. Let's do do uh, solidify modifier so we can actually just get get a lot of a little bit of thickness going on here. We can just uh, bump it up a tiny bit. And of course, we need a uh, subsurface modifier. So control two, I think. Yes, control two. So now you remember that <laughs> it's control two, and then you're having that uh, to sub uh, to make it a little bit smoother and the shade smooth. And what we can even do here, we can type it in. We can actually adding a uh, loop cut on the each edge, just getting getting some support loops going on here making it nice and sharp all right okay cool so having that let's bring the ring back uh, we have something going on now here right uh, it looks pretty nice but still the if we go to the top part it is okay to see that it's covering up some of that gap but I still have something going on here uh, another way we can do we can just duplicate it. This, this bottom ring. Let's do that. Let me select the vertices in here and hit Control L. Uh, the reason it didn't link the entire thing was just because the we are using the array modifiers, and although we apply them, but they are still uh, they are still have duplicated vertices in here in the same uh, place. So at this stage, we're not really going to merge all these vertices just because of that. So this is kind of yeah, very convenient for, for for us. We can just simply duplicate this ring, hit can, uh, Shift D and, uh, and grab it, move it down here. And uh, you can you can do hit P to to actually having separate as sep the other in, uh, individual ring, just trying to fill in that gap. Right, so I'm going to grab this, and f of course for this guy, because uh, it has because it's du duplicate from the other one, so it doesn't. Uh, it has all these the same modifiers in here. We don't need the lattice, so we can just uh, delete that. Uh, so we can just use this and grab it, and up in here, so I kind of fit into that gap. All right, so right now it looks pretty big, so we can actually get a smaller to get into that. Yep, so we are inside of this ring now, right? Cool. So everything looks nice, except we are still having this additional extra vertices kind of coming outside the ring it doesn't look very nice and also on the top you see that feels like a separate what we can do here we can just select the top ring and go to the top of you hit the e e s and um, it's just getting something close from the top view right because it screws some um, surface to kind of closing up the top I think it's fine so far. Um, that's what I did for, for my model, and definitely I spent more time to adjust this, uh, but that's basically what I did. Uh, next thing I will do is this one. I'm actually going to delete some of the vertices that is kind of showing on the on the mesh, right? So I'm going to do here, see, X vertice, yes. And that's it's kind of nice here. Let's do here. Hit uh, Control Plus. You can see here. And we don't want having this vertex uh, select uh, uh, to to actually delete it. So we are going to hit B 
to kind of you know me uh, using the middle mouse scroll to unselect that and we're just gonna delete this vertice yeah okay so it's inside right okay cool uh, let's see here outside get that delete that this is down the other side so yeah you can see yeah this is what i'm trying to do and for this one because this is a separate individual one so we are going to delete this guy as well vertice of course you're making sure you're using the uh actuary mode i'm trying to constantly reminding you because uh, you need it to deal with the same side as well. So again, so go to the X-ray mode. We are just going to select this bottom part. The vertices just grab it coming in. So as long as it's not showing, it should be fine. To 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 view. All right, this one. All right, top view. Grab that. It's coming. Yeah, the I need to turn it on again. It's kind of bothering. All right, cool. And what what else? Let's see. Um, at least from this side, I think it should be fine. Okay. So in here, seems like we are still have some vertices coming in here, and uh, I'm just going to delete that. X, delete that vertice. Yep, it's not showing right. And that's from the other side. I'm going to delete that. How are we looking here? Yeah, it's not too bad. As long as we have this rain covered it up, it should be okay. So for this guy, it seems like it's kind of come out of range a little bit. So we are going to do something about this. And then because there are two vertices in here again, um, if I select that, they'll be selecting two vertices. I don't want that. So the best way we would do, since there are, these are two uh, separate individual rings, I can just select these three and hit uh, Control and on plus on the number key and then just do that. And then you're gonna do hit the B and deselect this part. So I'm perfectly selecting just this side of it oops sorry go on top of you and where is that oh yeah so i'm going to grab that just come inside a little bit just just making sure it's not really showing on the outside that's what i want to do this guy some vertice in here so doesn't need these uh, select that X, delete vertice, and also this part is kind of interfered it outside the ring, so I'm going to do that. Grab, come in. Yeah, I know it takes time, man. That's why it just takes time. All right, grab that top view, and G just coming in. In my in my kind of life philosophy or doing this type of thing, you don't need to have perfect quads or anything just to making sure uh, the stuff looks pretty legit. Uh, every single perspective, that's for amateurs, man. Uh, you just need to get the, your results, no matter what you're trying to do. As long as the results coming good, I think you should be fine. Okay, so so far. Uh, this is kind of the. Uh, I still got something going on here. I don't know what is this. Uh, it's from the other side. Oh, it's this guy. I think it's this guy. I think it's this guy. Oh, this one. Yeah, just delete that. Let me see. This is a front view. If I'm a hit uh, control, put um, hit number one, and then go to the back view. Oh, something going on. 
I think I accidentally delete some of the vertices. Yes. Okay. Good. Glad I saved that. It's not that too bad. So I'm just looking at yeah, looking at this one. It's really time consuming. Okay. Good. Anyway, I don't want to wasting too much time on you when you're looking at this one, but uh, what's going on? Anyway, uh, you got you got my point, right? And then next thing I wanted to point it out is the rest of the body, how to do that to connect that. So, or we already having this waves coming, uh, rain made it. So what we can do for the rest of the body, we are not coming, we're not going to make another cylinders and trying to match that uh, curvature rain again when we're building the body. We are actually going to using this existing geometries from this ring to build the rest of the body so that's the best way to do so let's let's click the entire ring down here and we're gonna do shift and d duplicate it and hit the p as selections as the a separate thing and then we are coming out um, uh, to to finding this ring and then we are going to do that uh, for the rest of the body so select the entire ring right and uh, hit E Z it's coming down uh, to all the way down here and next thing we will do is we are going to hit S Z zero oh sorry I hit it wrong S Z zero and to kind of zero it out because it had some quite a bit uh, stuff going on with the modifiers solidify and we can just kind of delete that yeah uh, now for the rest of these you will know how to do this type of thing you can just adding a ring but adding a ring you see it's actually showing is kind of a waving curve we are we can hit e or f to kind of f is towards this set this side and e will towards to this side when you're adding a loop cut so we definitely want to have uh, using f for this case um, so i want to do it again Control r left click and hit F I hit E <laughs> E hit E double time sorry hit E and then you can you can see which side uh, looking the rings you wanna you wanna have and then we are can to do we can do left click and hit scale it up and then we can just kind of keep adding loops cut and hit E and uh, to getting that To getting oh, um, to getting everything sorted out, scale it up. All right. So you can definitely spend some time to getting the entire body correct, and we can just to model uh, to getting something like this uh, again. All right. Well, thank you for your time and uh, really appreciate it. I'm not really good at uh, photo uh, video editing, so you can see the entire videos really like one single long clip. And uh, sorry, and also I don't have a lot of time to do so. So I will really appreciate your your patience. And uh, I'm trying my best to getting the my points to the to the stuff I really want to say. And uh, if you like this type of content, please hit likes and consider subscribe because on my stuff is re regarding a product rendering if a photorealistic render uh, and if you really wanted to know more and uh, stay connect you can follow me on instagram as uh, the links in the description oh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye